Hello, 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 hello. Well, welcome to the Daily Political Tarot and Astrology here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so much for being here. I am literally here every single day of the year to take your political questions out of the chat. Just put your questions in the chat before I come on. 10% of my income from everything Black and Orange goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That is an ongoing thing. We've got epic troll slayers who have kept us safe for years. Thank you. I couldn't do this without you. And I've got, it, it, seriously, we are a fantastic community. You have made this a fantastic community. Thank you. And if you're watching this on replay, hello. You can go down in the description box. All the questions are listed there. I timestamp them as I go. So you can pick and choose what you're interested in. Um, or you can watch the whole thing back in like 1.25 speed, which I do all the time on YouTube. So I can get across more YouTube ground in a day. So hello, hello. Oh, I'm glad you guys like the side panels. I just ran across this pattern and it was just lovely. It was like, oh, God, I've got to use that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Whew. And today I think I'm used, going to use the um, Housewives uh, Tarot. Just feeling like the Housewives Tarot. Hello, hello. All right. Let's uh, jump into Zik Vestals. Why I suddenly have a fake German accent, I do not know. All right. At one minute, 45 seconds. We are really jumping in today. Bernadette Smith and Lori Love were both asking. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, Ricky. I'll get to that in a minute. So Bernadette and Lori Love were both asking, will Trump and his lawyers get in trouble, finally, finally, for not letting the appeals court know that Hanky, 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 had offered to cover the, four, the full $454 million dollars. Oopsies, they were working that out. They were working, working it out with, Hank, I call him Hanky, Don, Don Hanky, who the, the subprime loan king, I think is what he calls himself, something like that, who has, well, in theory, posted the bond for $175 million for Trump in the, uh, uh, gosh, the names, the names, in Goron, uh, Letitia James, uh, New York, Letitia James, just, see if you're coming in and you don't know what I'm talking about, I, 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 I would need a diagram at this point. <laughs> but, um, attorney, the, the, Attorney General of the state of New York, Letitia James, brought a civil fraud case against Trump. The judge was Judge Ngoron. Uh, Trump and his, you know, legal Barbie, uh, completely plastic fake uh, lawyer, Alina Haba, uh, just made a mockery of the whole thing, which upset Judge Ngoron even more. And he slammed Trump with, I don't know, a fine closer to what he actually deserves. So there was a question. He had 30 days to come up with the bond. 30? I want to say 30. Or is it 10? There was, at one point there was a 30, one point there was a 10. Uh, I know, details. Uh, and it was looking like he wouldn't be able to post the bond for what he needed, and he was whining and complaining. So he went to the appeals court, 30 days. Thank you, spiritual, spiritual Sean, thank you. Uh, it was 30 days. So it, it, uh, Trump went to the appeals court and said, lower the amount. I can't, no one, no one has ever been charged $454 million in a fine before. Yes, they have. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, no one can possibly come up with that money. Yeah, actually, it's happened. And yeah, they just paid it. Just did it. 
you know, got on with the appeal. So the Supreme Court in New York went, oh, poor Trump, poor, poor man. Nobody, you're right. Nobody should have to post a bond for $454 million plus whatever else. No, no. Oh, that's far too much. You poor, poor thing. Let's lower it to $175 million. It's the least we can do. Well, it turns out that actually Trump was a, was working, they were working out with uh, uh, Hanky to post the whole $454 million. But they didn't tell the appeals court that. Hanky was already willing to go through with it. They just didn't tell the court. So the court lowered the bond. Ah, oh, boy. CC Ryder says, shame on the appeals court. I hope they feel duped. Yes, for falling for the scam. Yes. So, hello, appeals court and Goron, somebody. Are you going to say, uh, excuse you? Well, no. Yeah, you were, you were, um, appeals court, you, were you not paying attention to Trump's trial within Goron and all of that? And um, that you didn't see the other stuff he tried to pull? It just never, really? Okay, not paying attention, huh? Trump had access to the money. Yeah. But oh, the poor little deer, not the king of wands. No, no, no. He likes, he's, he's just a guy. He's just a man. He's the king of wands because he's an adult biologically, not mentally. And no, but oh, the poor little deer. Poor little deer, really? He used to have the nuclear, he, he used to, to have access to the nuclear codes. Yeah. Never feel sorry for this jerk. Strength. He got off. So he got away with so much. Queen of Swords. I don't know if they're going to go after him. I just know that um, this is not going to go well. Because it's not even clear that the court is uh, that Ngoron is going and Letitia James and Ngoron are going to accept the $175 million bond from, I call him Hinky, Hinky Hanky, um, because he's not in that state. He doesn't have enough liquid assets, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, Betty, he sold our secrets. Well, alleged, allegedly, allegedly. In the past, he's just given them away. Uh, do, 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 do. So, it, it is, we're, we're not entirely sure that Goron and James are going to accept the $175 million bond from, from Pinky. Uh, but this feels like you did what? Like, if they can... Th this is the justice system saying, excuse you? This does feel like... There are some people in the, the justice system in New York who are like, oh, heck no. Oh, Ricky, Ricky has to go. But what L Ricky said earlier was, because I want to make sure I get it. Um, oh, Ricky says, I'm being released from home health nursing today. The nurse is coming to see me every week. The, and the nurse is coming to see me. Every week is finally over. Yay. Yay. Okay. So Ricky said, and the star of the show, soon to star in his own horror movie called Count Catula, Boo Boo's and Kitty. Yeah. He's a lump sleeping under the blanket right there. All right. So, um, yeah, it does seem like they're not going to be pleased. So the 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 hearing, the Ngoron hearing. Let's get out ye old the stuff in black here. This is um, Mercury retrograde. Just so you know, that's April first. That's twenty fifth. Yeah, it's an it's a we get extra Mercury retrograde this month. 
Yay. A couple days extra, but still. Yeah. All right. So yesterday, of course, we had the eclipse. And thank you, everybody. And uh, the, the next the the next big thing is next Monday. Not only is it tax day in the U.S., but uh, the New York Bragg jury selection, New York, yeah, Bragg fraud case with Judge Marchand starts, jury selection starts Monday on that. And then also uh, Trump is supposed to give a deposition. Oh, I didn't get the, the name of what other, there's so many cases. Uh, there's another, it, he has a key, he's been ordered to give a deposition. So he's doing that on the 15th for a different case. But the Ngoron bond hearing about this whole uh, hinky hanky thing is uh, the 22nd. So that is two weeks from yesterday. So uh, do, do, do. today is the 9th. You are here. That was yesterday. This, this was the this was the eclipse. This is jury selection starting. And so, yes, that's the eclipse. That's the eclipse. That's uh, jury selection starting. And then that is the Ngoron bond hearing. So on the 22nd, that should be interesting because I wonder if, and I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. And I would worry, I, sorry, I would wonder if Ngoron isn't going to, to ask for more information about this before that bond hearing. So, mm -hmm. Heather says, it's crazy how much delay you can purchase or force from our legal system if you are rich and white. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Anyway, so... We shall see, but it feels like the justice system is none too pleased at the moment. Yeah, I hope so too, Malting's Cottage. All right, so uh, at 12.20, oh, it's it's a day ending and why? It, I mean, seriously, Joyce Vance, bless that woman, said the most accurate thing in all of the years of Trump. She said, everywhere he, Trump goes, he turns it into a crime scene. It's, seriously. It, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Trump could be subject to an SEC investigation for securities fraud. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> Um, in relation to Truth Social, his, he, okay, in, okay, in real estate, hyping up a property or your, or your project or the other kind of businesses that Trump has run into the ground, hand him a business and he will crumple it up and he'll, he'll rip it into tiny pieces and then crumple up the pieces and throw them down the toilet. Yeah, we know that. That's how good of a business person he is. Um, but what you do in the, the businesses he has failed in is you hype, 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 the greatest thing. And I, I love Ivanka trying to, she was in charge of selling condominiums in this one particular uh, building. And to potential buyers, she would say, she basically was saying, and, who knows? I mean, I, I might be knocking on your door to borrow a cup of sugar. <laughs> she didn't live there and she wasn't going to live there and she, she never lived there. They just lie. They just lie. Right? Well, here's the thing. You can't do that with stock. You can't hype a stock. You can't hype your own stock. Mm-mm. That's a big no-no. It's called uh, it's called pump and dump. You pump up the value of a stock with hype and whatever fake numbers and whatever whatever you want to say, and then at some point you sell. 
but because you've been hyping, it, you get more than you would have. That's a big no-no. You don't do that with stock. Mm -mm. Uh, his hyping of the strength of DJT, the stock, is considered pumping. And considering he will be looking to offload it, probably in September, the dumping it part, that's very much illegal. Will he be facing a new set of criminal charges soon? Yes. Uh, Electra Storm's asking, didn't Elon Musk do that too? It, it, pretty much. Uh, but I don't... Well, they accused him of it. I can't remember what came of that. I try not to think about him. <laughs> Let's be honest. I really don't like him. Yeah. So, if you have more criminal charges coming your way from securities fraud, Trump. And says, hopefully it'll only be a penny stock in September. Yeah. Raymond DePascal says, I see the IRS also. Oh, wow. I didn't even, we haven't even gone there yet. Securities fraud. Hey, if prison for securities fraud is good enough for Martha Stewart, So you're saying there's a chance. See, this is his hype. Oh, it's a party. Look at all the drinks. Look at all the fits dancing. It's so great over here. King of Cups. He's, he's, the more desperate he gets, the more ridiculous he gets. But he's up against a, a you know, this is not his industry. So it's why he had he had to bring on those two knuckleheads who are now having to sue him or are now suing him and he's suing them back. And I'm sorry, you're surprised. Why? Not quite sure what you were thinking was going to happen here, but sucker born every minute. Uh, there's, he, this is not his industry. This is a legal decision. This is a big old burden that Trump is holding. And then this is the institution. So the, it's in the cards. It's in the cards. But it isn't as dire as I wish it was. Well, thank you, Carly D. Yes, current price of DJT is 37.22. I can pull up the ticker if you'd like. It's literally open in one of the tabs. <laughs> Rosa Lopez says, can wait to hear what you have to say about Biden. I don't know what you mean. Heather's asking, do we have enough forensic accountants? I, I said a year or two ago that, look, if you're, no, it was, it was several years ago. I said, look, if you if you have someone young in your life who's who's think you know trying to decide what to study at university, and they have any interest in law in becoming a lawyer, it's gonna be busy. Everybody's gonna be busy. Everybody's gonna need lawyers. Um, the Two of Pentacles, very dodgy, very dodgy. Uh, so, Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. See, I'm not getting big cards of... I'm not getting big cards of... Um, I'm not getting dire cards for Trump. So, um, also in the chat, I think you were 
trying to say that I won't say anything negative about Biden. Uh, uh, Joe, for Trump, I, I, I'm, I wish I was, there's, there's, there's a chance, but I'm not, it's not like impending. I, mm, so it's a little disappointing. As far as uh, Joe Biden goes, all right, let's, let's read, I haven't read on Joe Biden in a while. Let's, uh, let's read on Joe Biden. At 20, 30. Joe Biden. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to hear what you have to say about Biden. Uh, what I have to say about Biden is he's not an adjudicated R word. He's not a jury of his peers and a judge have not found him. Uh, they have not, he, he, they have not uh, legally found him to have attacked uh, a woman. Um, he doesn't have how many bankruptcies? He didn't put children in cages. Um, he lets scientists decide scientific policies instead of standing up there like a fool and encouraging people to inject B-L-E-A-C-H, which is stupid. He did not, he has not looked at a neo-Nazi Nazi rally and said there are good people on both sides. There's a list. There's a long, long list. And Comer, and Jordan, and all of those people, they've got nothing. Nothing. There's, there's no evidence there's, there's no evidence against them. And if you listen to Comer, he just goes out there over and over and over and over and says, well, we're going to get with this information and we're going to prove this. We are going to prove this. We are going to prove this. He's been doing this for years. He's been doing this for years. He has nothing. And as far as Hunter Biden goes, I don't care. He's not in office. Back when all of this supposedly happened, it was 2017. Gosh, who was president in 2017? Let me think. Not, Joe Biden was not in office and there was no word that he was ever going to go try to get back into office. So what Hunter Biden did is what Hunter Biden did. There was no influence to peddle. So yeah. Anyway, Joe Biden, we have made it through with the lowest inflation. We, we recovered with the lowest inflation in the world. Things are not perfect, but my gosh, after a pandemic where the previous president was in charge while well, over a million of our citizens were unalived. Um, yeah. Joe Biden. That's what I think of Joe Biden. Don't compare me to the almighty, compare me to the alternative. Oh, I do. Thank you. All right. He's worried. He's he's he is literally worried for the country. He's worried for his own um he really does see Trump as the threat that he is. Oh Zen Zen Soul, thank you. Oh, boom. Thank you. Um Yes, also we're forgiving predatory loans for millions. Oh, trying to, uh, let's say, save women's lives. Yeah, anyway, moving on. He, look, I'm not, I'm not saying anyone is a saint. I've never met a saint. You've, I don't think you've ever met a saint. We've met some very, very nice people. Matter of fact, 
I would, if I was going to nominate some of the nicest, nicest human beings on this planet, I would actually, I'd start with Sienna Rose, um, Sienna Rose Metaphysical, who is the nicest human being I've ever met in my entire life. And uh, Lori from The Way of Positive Change, also the, about the biggest sweetheart you can meet. Great people. Uh, on a personal note, a friend of mine, nicest, just friend. I've just like friend, close friend I've ever had uh, just passed away, unfortunately. And she's, if there's anybody who deserves to be in heaven, there are some nice people in this world, but nobody's a saint. I read on politicians every day. So, but there's just, there's no comparison. And I really do think that both Joe Biden and his wife are afraid for the country. I think they are afraid that Trump will get back in. Even though we know that the, um, oh yes, the, uh, I forgot, yes, the inter the whole insurrection, I for <laughs> there's so much I forget. Joe Biden hasn't tried to overthrow our democracy. There we go. All right, I'm done with that. But thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I can't believe I, it, there's just, I forget, there's so much. All right. Um, we know that the polls are askew. Yeah, but he's worried. He's, he's worried about the whole, the whole group over there who would suspend democracy. Just flat out uh, uh, things unthinkable. And, you know, we know that Joe Biden, he was in, you know, he, he's been in Congress. He was in Congress for decades. And can you imagine doing a job for 50 years? Just about. And to go from how it used to be to suddenly you're here and the whole all of democracy could potentially fall if you don't win an election, that's a lot of stress. Yeah. Um, temperance, Ace of Pentacles. High Priestess. All right. So he's trying, he is trying to he, he is actually trying to figure out how to save people money. He really is. And this is, this is not secret. This is higher wisdom. This is trying to see the bigger picture. Partnering with others. He knows how to delegate. And as we get closer to the election, right now he's just worried. I'm just feeling... Just a lot of worry. Now, what is going to happen? It's going, to be, it's going to be a struggle, but he can do it. This is my card of voting. This two of swords. It's a, a decision. It's my card of voting. The voters. Six of cups. Make make things reasonable again. I mean, that's, that's, that's really what he wants. Just reasonable. Four of cups. He, he doesn't want to overstep, but at the same time, it wants to help people. Six of Swords. He, where, well, Trump has his, all Trump has all of his, this is usually the, the people in the boat with all the swords stuck in the bottom of the boat. It's moving. This is, this is going to all the different legal things Trump's going to have to deal with. But that does not mean that, I mean, Biden is still going to work really, really hard. And he's going to be successful. 
but he's, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't think about it a lot, but now that I'm, I'm reading on him, it, it, there's just, there's, there's real worry. So for him, and I'm not saying there's even needs to be, I'm saying that he's just worried. Yeah. So hello, James. Can you holler? Yep. Student loans. Um, oh, there was something it zipped past earlier. I'm sorry. Um, I do like to um, I do like to give credit where I can. Let's see, there's too much going on. Uh, it was uh, what Biden's uh, been trying to do about the price of insulin and asthma medication and things like that too, which saves lives. So anyway, all right, let's let us move on. By the way, I just wanted to mention this, a small aside. Um, not going to name names. Uh, just want to throw this out there that it's a possibility that there is, let's say, someone regularly, pretty regularly in the chat who uses multiple accounts who uses completely different names, handful of different names. And I would just like to let this person know, whoever that is, we're all friends here. I know who you are. <laughs> I know all the names. Relax. We're all friends here. And we're all welcome here. You know, so just just throwing that out there. Nice person, not saying this person has done anything, anything, you know, horrible. Just everybody just relax. It's okay. It's a good group. It's a very good group of friends. Anyway, all right. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. No, nope, no wrench is needed. None. But thank you, Electric Storm. Do I need to use my wrench? Bless you. No. All right. So let's move on to. Oh, I don't have any examples handy, but <clears throat> the this is the question. The orange one has become, let's say, the target of many jokes as his bid to dismiss the hush money case was swiftly denied, or at least get a change of venue and judge was swiftly denied. So Trump's trying to get, he was trying to get the Bragg case, different judge, different, um, you name it, um, because he's panicking. The case begins later this month. Yes, it does. <clears throat> right there on the 15th. <laughs> Yay. Will his ego survive all the smackdowns he's been receiving lately? Um, or just, I don't know if how he's going to handle... I mean, we've, we, we read at some point on how Trump's going to handle having to be in court four days a week, all day long, and he can't, he can't leave. Hello, Becca. Becca from House of the Normans in the chat. And you're going to have trouble finding somebody who can do what Becca does. She, she can take a deck of the Norman cards and make the most amazing grand tableaus. I believe she also does some private readings too. So Becca at the house, or sorry, Becca at House of Lenormand, Lenormand, however it's pronounced. Thank you, Blue Iris. Charles, I haven't looked at his. Um, I haven't looked at the astrological chart on that day for for Trump, but um, that's a good idea. Thank you. All right, giant ego, 
tiny self-worth. It's, it's, he's just, he's focused on his facade. Back in the 90s, do you remember the big run up of the stock market? And then there were a lot of people suddenly working, more, there were more and more people working on Wall Street and in business and all this kind of stuff. Well, it was the late 90s or early aughts that there was a, there was a psychiatrist, psychologist, somebody, who basically created a, a much needed work like worksheet of how to spot a sociopath. Okay. Well, uh, some bright sparks on, in hiring on Wall Street decided that this was great. So they started using it to hire people. And they go, oh, good, they're trying to get rid of, of, of psychopaths or sociopaths. No, they were using it to find people with those traits because they found that these people, they don't get a sense of accomplishment or anything really good from human interaction or decency. Um, oh, lucky girl, I know that, but uh, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. You, you know more about this than you, than you think. So these people, they started hiring people like that because those people used the money as their scorecard because they couldn't get the same endorphins, the same good feelings from closeness and all of these things. So early in life, they started using money, how much money I have as their reward system. Well, what do you think Trump is? <laughs> so you start messing with his money, that's where that's that's his self-worth. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Rebecca, yes, they have no morals. Exactly. Lori Love says they don't feel bad about hurting others. Exactly. Um, so yeah, his money's being, you know, this is, this is about Trump's mental state and it comes back to the money and he's trying to shore up this, this facade of his because he has used leverage to get where he is, which isn't, you know, the worst business practice in the world. He's just found a way to make it the worst business practice in the world. But, um, well, yeah, I won't go there. Seven of Pentacles. This is fruits, fruits of labor. Or as House Spark says, fruits of crime. <laughs> uh, yeah, the reality of the financial situation. Two of Wands. This is communication, but in in this deck, that there's a, a kind of there's a kind of um, self-defensive aspect to it. It's all coming to light. All the gory details about his money. So I'm asking about his mental state, about how he's going to handle all of this. It, it comes down to his money. I think it was Michael Cohen who said that Trump is more afraid of losing his money than he is of going to prison. And I believe that. And again, maybe he has a reason to. <sighs> so, speaking of house sparks, I highly recommend yesterday's morning show. Yeah, it was yesterday's morning show. Hal was going through Trump's uh, financial disclosure forms and looking at the different ways that he uses so many LLCs to, kind of, well, entertainment only, but kind of use, it's like a shell game-ish type thing. Yeah. 
really interesting. So that was yesterday. All right, so. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I saw a comment in the chat, but I missed it. And I'm so sorry that you were married to a narcissist. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, yes. Becca. Trump is now demanding Biden be drug tested, especially for cocaine, if he's going to debate him pot, meat kettle. <laughs> I swear every time that man talks, there should be there should be that clicking, repeated clicking sound from a projector. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So uh, um, Valderay brought this up, but there have been lots of people talking about it at 40, 55. Jack Smith filed with the Supreme Court his rebuttal to Trump's claim of total presidential immunity and post-presidential immunity. How will the court rule? Um, I'll have a look at it, but uh, from everything I've seen and what people have been saying, apparently this thing is a work of art. What Jack, what Jack Smith filed is ah, beautifully done. So that's good. Thank you, Fran. All right, Supreme Court. Uh, magician. Yeah, you con artist, you could, you could get away with anything. So, how is Trump's total immunity case in front of the Supreme Court going to go? Hermit. Star. So, you'd be above anybody else, everybody else, every other president. Above the law, above everything. And Trump has some super conservative, not very decent people on the Supreme Court. Let's face it. But this whole Trump's argument is very rickety. Usually the Three of Pentacles is a, is a card of plan, the plan, which is part of his plan. But this just in this deck, you know, there's this this shelf with plates on it and her hands are tools. Now the question is, is she building the shelf or is she knocking it down? You decide. And how does it go? How does it end? That's a big old tower card. I don't think it's going to go well for Trump. I really don't. And this this card just kills me. <laughs> Ever since I bought the deck, just kills me. Because that's going to be such a mess when she, when she get, you know, moves. <laughs> how do you, how do you wear jello mold? Oh my gosh. Waist height jello mold. Oh God. And I'm vegan. So it's just for especially, oh God. <laughs> uh, uh. Instant Potato says, when I read Michael Cohen's book, he had 16 cell phones when he worked for 45. Really? I didn't, I didn't read that one. Yes, brought to the infamous Tower of Jell-O. <laughs> Suburban Housewife, Jell-O, wobble, wobble, sploosh. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, so now, here's, here's the kicker. So at 4415, the Supreme Court, they could, you know, they can tell, say, tell Trump this, the whole argument's ridiculous and forget it. Um, will the conservative justices drag their feet? Oh, gosh, I... I don't know. I need to think about it for another month or two or three. Or... Yeah, I'll get right on that. 
So will the Supreme Court drag their feet? A little. A little. They, they, they know it's a con. They, they, yeah, they're not going to go for this. The Jack Smith has still had to do the work and make eloquent, eloquent arguments, but still very basic ones. Matter of fact, I, didn't he have in his, in his brief, didn't he have like eight pages of notations of like past cases and relevant cases and like it was just it was a thing of beauty apparently knight of swords and he knows what he's doing queen of swords so it's not the justice card the queen of swords would be a group even a small group of could be a small group of judges four of wands vacation Retirement, we wish, but no, this is, I, I, I really wonder if they are going to wait until the very, very end of the, the um, term, like the last day. <sighs> yes, Becca, we were talking about that earlier. But what do we? What, did, what else did we expect from them? But I still don't think they're going to grant Trump immunity. So I know, I know, Heather. Justice delayed is exactly. But here we are. Here we are. We'll make it through. Mershon is not delaying the trial. That's a big. Uh, um. Sorry, I just got I just saw German in the <laughs> I just saw German in the chat and my my now I've now I've got Rammstein <laughs> going through my head. Du, du hast, du hast mich. Um I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, it's a lot to juggle. between trying to read the energy, the meanings, the keeping all the details straight of all the different stories uh, and trying to keep up with the chat, but not get distracted by it. It's harder than it looks, but I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you. All right. What else have we got here? Really, uh, this this jerk's not getting more than three cards out of me. So Trump is feuding with the rancid mint julep himself, Lindsey Graham, Lindsey, over a fifteen week ban. How nasty will Trump get? Will Graham cry over Trump's ire? <clears throat> All right. Uh, three cards, Trump and Lindsay. Rants and mint julep. These are these are two people who have very little core in, fact, in core values. So them arguing over something, they're not arguing over their own beliefs. I mean, honestly, think about this. <laughs> you have two of the biggest flip flopping, you know, fish on a fish dumped on a pier. <laughs> what does he believe? Pick something. It depends on the day, and obviously, and also, they're arguing over garbage like this. It it helps Democrats. Queen of Swords, 
Four of Wands, Strength. Sn see that? See that? Snippy. They're getting snippy with each other. But you know, Lindsay, Lindsay would take Trump back in a heartbeat. Not that they're necessarily estranged. It's just. But uh, hey, you guys continue to argue. You go right ahead as you do everything you can to hand the uh, hand more seats and the presidency to Democrats. Okay, thanks. Go ahead. Go ahead. Seriously, we we're talking about two giant, two human jellos, two two human jello molds. Should we be molded jello? But yeah, one big orange jello wobble wobble one green mint julep type jello wobble wobble then they're having a fight yeah <laughs> roll my eyes so hard they're gonna roll out of the back of my head anyway uh oh is this i think this is the article i've got right here I just needed to zip up to the top of it because I'm pretty sure this is Daily Beast. I need to make sure I've got the right because I'm going to give credit. Daily Beast. Yes. OK, so the Daily Beast put out an article the other day. Uh, sorry about the noise. Let me know if I need to close the window, but there's a, a car that's moving past. They'll be gone in a minute. A uh, Daily Beast did a breakdown of Trump's Trump campaign money from January. It's very long and um, it, but down near the bottom was were kind of interesting. So I thought I would share this with you. Now, the question on this ultimately is um, the Daily Beast dropped a breakdown of Trump's January expenditures and they are wild. Will his campaign be able to sustain itself to November? So, um, so what this was saying was Trump can't raise money with the party until he officially secures the nomination. How old is this article? But anyway, a breakdown of the Trump campaign spending last month shows that the primary contest is taking its toll. The, okay, so it, it, it was the campaign spent um, $4.7 million for placed media, like TV ad spending. $820,000 went out the door for audio and visual support at events in a month. I believe. I believe it's the month. $602,000 for video production. Nearly $550,000 for travel-related expenses more than $450,000 for polling services. Campaign also shelled out about $15,000 for teleprompter services. $15,000. A sharp increase over recent months. And, um, but outside of those direct political costs, the campaign's biz biggest expense, they, I mean, not, this doesn't even count the other stuff Trump's doing, but this is just the campaign itself dropped $830,000 on lawyers. Gosh, I wonder who those lawyers helped or worked for. Will Trump's campaign be able to sustain itself? Through the election. And I will bet you a nickel Trump did not raise $50.5 million on Saturday night at, at Mar-a-Lago. I will bet you a shiny new nickel. I think I need to close this. Be loud. Oh, no, it's going away. Sorry about all the noises. All right, what did I miss?
Uh, Becky's asking, what about Milani's stylist and hairdresser? I, if, if, who, who knows who they've suckered into doing that? All right, Trump's campaign. Can you sustain yourself through the election? Jeez. You know they're already planning on contesting the results. Literally. They're, they're, they're already talking about filings, putting things in place. I kid you not. Three of Swords. Legal heartache. Don't commit crimes. David Minard says that Melania's dress cost $6,500. Really? I mean, I thought it was cute, but it wasn't $6,500 cute. I thought it was better than a lot of the stuff she and the others have worn simply because it wasn't trying to, you know. Anyway. Oh, Louis, it was Valentino. Oh, nifty. All right. Uh, can you sustain yourself? Four of Swords. Electoral Silence. Ten of Cups. Democrats doing well. Two of Pentacles in the middle. Very robbing Peter to pay Paul, then robbing Paul to pay Peter. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely putting some money up. A page of Pentacles. They are going to tighten their belts. Oh, boy. I wonder if Trump is going to be doing rallies out in the fields. Um, because in the center, I mean, you've got this card, this Ten of Pentacles, the, the dynasty, and here, you know, we've got all of our ducks in a row. But this is very, 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 very shaky. This is Pentacles also. These Both of these are. And Page of Pentacles, which is just feels like squeezing tightly just what little money you have. Hmm. Did someone say there was a sound problem? Please let me know. All right, so. Uh, Rose Allen and Fire Queen had a question at 5740. lovely. We do wish it was happening federally, not state, but take what we can get. Will Gosar and Biggs subpoenas in Arizona roll into some form of federal subpoenas for January 6th, the January 6th insurrection? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care, buddy. Gosar and Biggs. They're being summoned in Arizona. But is this going to roll into bigger problems? Bigger problems for you. Not yet. Is it a problem? Yes. Is there, frankly, is there a ton of evidence against a whole raft of people in the GOP related to January 6th? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, three years later, it's a start. Two and a half years later? No. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Yeah. Anyway, um, it'd be three and a half, wouldn't it? Anyway, eight of wands. Yeah, there's. It's all there. I do have the tower in the center. That's not good for them. However, King of Pentacles and Six of Cups. This would be trying to 
pull the speech and debate clause or, I mean, just whatever else stuff they're trying to pull. But I do have a tower in the middle. So there's trouble. There's big trouble coming. I just... Was my, there's a song, there was a, uh, a song that was popular years ago. My mother used to sing it every once in a while. And she'd, or she'd at least say the, the um, main line of the chorus when something was taking a long time. And she'd say, in the year 2525. <laughs> Can we get on with this, please? Please? We should get on with this. All right, um, tomorrow I'll look at, I've got a couple of people here that could be potential Trump running mates that we haven't looked at. So I've got that first up for tomorrow or early up for tomorrow. Um, and let's just have a quick look at Ukraine at 101. 101. 10. Ratu is asking, will aid for Ukraine go through in the next 60 days? Gosh, I hope so. I hope so. I hate, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Weird noises from downstairs. All right. Come on, Ukraine. Support for Ukraine, please. Please, please, please. Cards for the reading are more positive than I thought they would be, but good. This would be the money going. Please, oh, please, oh, please. I mean, for heaven's sakes, Putin's not going to stop in Ukraine. Even if even if you, you just want to close yourself off to, I don't know, decency to the promises we gave Ukraine in order for them to give up their nuclear weapons, all this stuff, even if you want to put that aside, do you really think Putin's going to stop? Do you really think we're not going to end up with boots on the ground there eventually, unless it stops in Ukraine? Something, on whatever level it takes to look at this, look at it. Pick a direction. We're not picky. Just send what they need. <sighs> decisions. This is usually communication. It's right-wing communication, but this is the decision they're making, too. Adding insult to injury. Looking at you, GOP. Hanged man. Leaving him hanging. Ace of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. All right, so this does not look good, but then this feels like it's spinning. So things could, it feels like things may not look good now. They may not look good for, for a, a while, Grr. but this, this wheel feels like it is spinning, 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 which means something could happen very quickly. Good, something good could happen quickly. Janelle says, yes, this could have been finished if we hadn't stopped. Yeah, exactly. Well, the situation right now is not good. And they had a deal, but Republicans walked away because of, yeah, Republicans walked away. Eight of Pentacles, working out not only the working something out with the Republicans, but working on money. But then we have a, a, this new, more democratic or pro-democracy action, a new start here. So I am getting some good energy. I just, in so many things right now, it's like, could we please just get on with it? But we're gonna be okay, all right? And there's there's a lot of good stuff moving. It's just not moving at the speed we want. But I remember a time when 
it was a long time. It was like Trump, nobody would even indict him. Now he's got, what is it, 88 federal charges against him? Okay. So hang in there. Yes, suburban housewife and a one seat majority in the house. Whoa. All right. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. But I'll be right back here tomorrow. We'll go through the news together. And um, it's 1.18 p.m. here in Chicago. So at 3 o'clock, I'll be over on the Creative Sprints channel, as always, uh, working on my astrology course if I get post-production done in time uh, here. And other than that, yeah, I'll be right back here tomorrow. Same cat time, same cat channel. Uh, you're not alone. We are in this together. And there are good days ahead. All right, so hang in there. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow.